I'm Lucetti. I'm a blogger, a lifestyle blogger. My blog is called Sleepless in Soweto. I'm Georgie East and I run my East Afternoon blog and I'm a food stylist, photographer and food writer. I'm Horak Culver. I'm a travel and lifestyle blogger from Johannesburg. And my name's Francis. People know me as Great Grandpops. I'm a visual storyteller and photographer. I'm Jared. I'm from Cape Town. I'm a writer, Instagrammer and a social curator. I'm Mira Wiener and I own a PR and marketing consultancy called Hot Oven Marketing. I'm Mark, most people know me as Scrumpy Jackson. I'm a photographer and Instagrammer and visual storyteller from Neisner. So this is my second time in Robson, um, but I haven't been this deep in the valley. My highlight so far has been the wine tasting at Valsafrieda in the underground cellar, which is a hundred years old. It was pretty rad. Like that was my favorite so far. Really enjoying our pre-wacky wacky wine weekend because I found out so many new things about wine that I didn't know before. Um, I'm a very new when it comes to wine and usually I kind of have to make up things to sound as if I, I know what I'm talking about so it's quite nice to get an education on it and, um, and, and be able to, to actually report back to people and, and, and maybe share, share a bit of light on, on everything that is the Robertson Wine Valley. Experience so far has been amazing, very unexpected. Um, and authentic. Oh, that's awesome. Great wines, amazing food, and beautiful scenery as well. Weekend's going well. I'm, I'm very surprised by Robertson. I'm surprised by the variety. I'm surprised by the area and how many different, um, even weather patterns we are getting just from being here. Then the other thing that I have enjoyed a lot is getting to know the people on the trip and getting to know the winemakers and the people who own the hotel and you know it's a it's a very special thing to learn about their stories and the reason why they are doing what they're doing and if i had to have a highlight i would probably say driving through the pass or or the tunnel where the fort is into montague and out again this morning were my moments of wow and wonder and yeah, amazing, grand, like amazed by the grandeur of the place. Absolutely awesome. I must admit, I've been so used to visiting some of the wine areas around Cape Town that I've neglected to spend time in Robertson, and this has been fantastic. The weekend's been really good. Um, I'm really enjoying the wines, um, which has been amazing. Some single, vi uh, single vineyard wines, which have just been incredible, really surprised me. I've been enjoying some varietals that I never really drink or enjoy, so that's been great. And we've had really cool experiences. Um, we've seen some beautiful vineyards and we've gone underground in some spooky cellars. And yeah, it's been amazing. So yeah, great, great weekend. So there's everything from outdoor mountain bike races to trail runs through the olive orchards and the vineyards to underground cellar tours on family owned estates. There's incredible food and wine pairings. And this weekend really is a chance to experience what will be available during Wacky Wine.